that was a time which I was getting a little bit uh, nervous as to why are they not here yet. Hi guys, welcome back to Jen Stories. How are you all? How is 2022 treating you? How have you been? What have you done so far in this new year? January is almost coming to an end and I hope it has been wonderful for you. If it hasn't, then the next month is going to be fabulous for you. I know it. So all the best for all the amazing things which are going to happen in your life. One of them is obviously me and my videos which are going to keep coming on to your feed, your YouTube feed. So keep watching and keep supporting. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I am Jen and I create videos on my life and my life stories. Today, we are all going to talk about MBA again because you guys have found a lot of information and a lot of um, help from my videos on my MBA journey and my experience so far. So I decided to continue this and add more pointers because there's a lot of information which I want to share from my experience which would help you further. So today I'm going to cover MBA interview questions. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. So this is the final step before you get an admission in your MBA program. This is a personal interview which happens in between you and the admissions committee and that is when they grill you and have all sorts of stress interviews and uh, this is a very 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 important point or a very important step in your journey because this is where you either get the offer of admission or you don't okay so whatever has been submitted so far is already done now you have the chance to explain it further and uh, to give that best experience or best impression about you to the admissions committee and tell them how and why you are a fit for this program or for the college that you are applying for so first of all what i would like to tell you is Side side, done. do not over prepare for your interviews interviews are a step in your journey which help you tell your story okay just word it out you have already written that in your essay right all you have to do is just word it out again in a crisp shorter format because your essay was elaborate and it had a lot of words and uh, you know pages and all of that right now you have to make it short but you have to make it interesting and you have to just be yourself you just have to be genuine okay so that's all that you have to do you do not need to have any uh, specific jargons written down or memorized to be spoken during the interview you don't have to do that because you don't have to fake yourself or fake any aspect of your life to get into any program or to get to any place in life anywhere you go anywhere you reach always strive to be yourself whatever that means whatever your being yourself means be that because that's the best right and let people accept you for what you are always strive for that so this was the initial yarn that i gave um, after that so i'll uh, quickly go through my uh, interview experience how it was all the good times just begun my interview was for around 30 minutes it was a 30 minute time slot and it started at um, 
4 p.m. I think 4 4 30 p.m. was the time which was given to me and uh, it was so it started a bit late because the previous interview uh, didn't get over in time so it spilled into this one and that is why um, I think it started around 10 to 15 minutes late that was a time which I was getting a little bit uh, nervous as to why are they not here yet what has happened <laughs> so that was uh, you know those few minutes were a bit uh, tricky but but I managed okay and after that once the interview started so the first question which was asked to me was uh, tell me about yourself okay so this is the standard question that uh, everyone will ask you everywhere no matter if it's a college interview or a job interview or whatever yeah so first question was tell me about yourself your experience what brings you to this program and that is when i started talking a lot i actually spoke a lot during uh, this segment and once they once they said once they asked me to talk and tell my story i just couldn't stop <laughs> i mean uh, it, it it just has been 25 years since my existence on this earth but i was like i have so many things to tell you so i started from you know after i passed out of school i did this during my graduation and then i was doing a lot of freelancing assignments and then i moved on to a job and uh, I, how i have had a lot of uh, disappointing times also how i hated a subject back in school and uh, that just crushed my motivation and i swore to never ever use uh, never ever do anything which involves that subject again but how i rose out of it how i you know came out of that feeling and how i conquered that fear i spoke about it all everything everything and how um, quitting my job to pursue the mba was a very difficult decision for me i was very attached back then to my routine a hell of an experience i would say if i hadn't done that then i wouldn't have been here today and i'm so grateful i took that step because everything after that has been so amazing so 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 amazing so i spoke about it all i mean i just i didn't uh, have any filters as to no i shouldn't speak this or maybe what are they going to think about this aspect of my life oh my god i should not talk about this i never had that you know because i was very clear that these people have heard a lot of stories these people have gone through a lot of stories themselves in their lives and they know it you know they know that failures are a part of life they know that uh, heartbreaks are going to happen they know that every day is not a happy day and they want to hear it from you they don't want you to fake it right but at the same time make it crisp i i just kept saying and i think uh, out of the 30 minutes 15 to 20 minutes i just kept talking about my journey <laughs> which was a little too much and I was worried as to is, is this going to go against me it didn't but yeah but this this is what I did and after that um, they asked me why this program and where do you see yourself after uh, this MBA program what roles are you looking forward to and uh, how much increase in your package whether that is your uh, salary are you going are you looking forward or are you aiming for so all of those questions are you know quite subjective it depends on what you are looking for what rules are you looking for which program have you opted for and you look at alumni from that institute or from that particular course what roles have they gone in you go on linkedin you search 
and then you pick up a few roles from those roles which you like or which are in line to your aspirations and with the salary aspect you ideally would definitely want a hundred percent hike on your previous salary but uh, you will again do the math you will go on to pass data statistics placement reports and then calculate what is your current salary and how much will it be for you and what are your aspirations like which role are you aspiring for how much is the industry standard for it uh, post mba so all of these things you will do beforehand this is the study you have to do for yourself and prepare for it because these questions are going to come up they are going to ask you which roles are you going to plan are you planning to get into a post mba what are your aspirations from this program why did you choose to select this particular uh, program okay so that is when you should talk a little bit about the brand value of the college and how you have uh, seen students from this particular college you have interacted with them in the past and how you have closely followed um, this uh, program or the journey of of this college and how uh, inspired you are with it so you should highlight these pointers about the faculty if uh, you have closely followed uh, how, who teaches there who who are the guest faculty like and who um, you know who all are the sponsors or is, is there any special thing about this program a subject which you like a lot and um, maybe projects life projects that they do or anything whatever has actually worked for you you talk about those things uh, they will ask you if you have any questions for them that that is when you should ideally ask some very intelligent questions those are not common i mean don't ask basic questions like what is a day in the life for you as a teacher or something like that and ask questions around the course like um, if it's a new course like it was for me i asked them what was the motivation what was the why behind starting this course and uh, why did you decide on this particular program you know why why did the college decide on starting this what was the aim behind it what was the motivation behind this what was the why basically so this was something that they really liked because not a lot of people ask the why behind starting a particular program or including a particular aspect of that program maybe there is a subject in that particular program which is quite unique or which is not something that all regular MBA programs provide then you can talk about that you can ask them um, how or why did they include this what was that motivation or you know what was the journey behind including that particular aspect so all of these questions are going to they're going to like it because they'll understand that you are very curious so always display curiosity always try to understand a lot more than it, than just what meets the eye or what is at the surface level try to go deep try to understand those minute details and you will be appreciated anything around general knowledge and you don't know it just say that you don't know it and be, be okay about it because you're not going to know everything there's so much of information these days like you, there's an information overload you know there's so much of information coming from your phones your television and internet basically how much are you going to know how much are you going to remember it's okay what you know you know if you don't then you just say that i don't know about this or i haven't gotten a chance to read about this but i'm happy to go and look into this topic after this interview or maybe you can brief me about it just say this it's okay okay and uh, always be ready to talk about your passion uh, one tip i would give you is is if you are passionate about a particular hobby you like uh, playing the guitar okay or you're a guitarist then keep a guitar close by because you can talk about it and once you talk about that you are a guitarist they might want to hear it they might want to hear you play okay so you might just pick that up and just start playing similarly if you make art uh, have a couple of posters that you have prepared or, or some 
or any art piece that you have prepared just stick it behind the wall and you can talk about it let's see this art piece i made it okay so have these little things in between it will help uh, break the ice also and it'll show more of your human creative side and not just the study 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 thing because uh, people have different sides show all your sides talk about it and be excited be curious keep smiling all the time and only your uh, just be sure of your resume which you have shared be sure of the essay that you have written and each point that was there in it talk about your journey fearlessly and uh, basically that should be all and why and obviously why this college and why this particular program that should be all i think you don't really need to do a lot more than that and if you don't know anything just say it okay so that's all that i had today i hope you like this video and uh, if you did then please 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 do like this video and also subscribe to my channel because every time you subscribe i feel so happy seeing a new subscriber and um, it just makes me so 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 happy and so motivated to to keep recording and keep sharing my life stories so thank you so much for all the love thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you again in my next video till then take care and stay awesome Love you all. Bye.